Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. 1 Corinthians 15:33 KJV. See you tomorrow. See you. Don't forget prom is next week so you better hurry up and ask Vincent to be your prom date. Don't you worry about me. I got that covered my dear sweet friend. <laughs> Good. Now to find a pretty dress for us to wear. Oh, I got that covered too. I'll call you later on a three-way with Diana. Okay. Bye. Bye. Sammy, really? You really just tried to kiss me? Diana, you know how much I like you, since 8th grade. Here we are in 12th grade about to graduate and you're still rejecting my advances. What's a brother gotta do for you to say yes? How about don't try to force yourself on me? If it's meant to be it'll be. It's because I'm a chubby guy ain't it? What? Just admit it. Just say you don't like me because of my size and I'll leave you alone. Sammy, you're not a bad looking guy. But. Not a but, more so if. If you would have genuinely talked to me as a gentleman instead of trying to force affection I might take you seriously. Don't you see I'm taking time to talk to you? You asked to speak to me in private. I had to ask you ten times before you said okay though. The point is, you asked me and you never gave up. That's called being a gentleman, and I'm here, you won me over by your effort and here we are. Although secluded, I figured we could get away from the noise so I can hear what you have to say. But you trying to kiss me ain't it. I don't like you like that Sammy and if I'm being honest. I don't like chubby boys. Then why did you agree to meet me here? Are you serious right now? Because I thought you were going to ask me to prom, not kiss me. This is the first time you pulled this stunt. You lost your chance so I'm out of here. Don't talk to me again. Yeah right, like I ever had a chance with her. It would be a dream come true to land a girl like that. How dare he try taking advantage of me? Like what does he take me for? Just when I thought I had a prom date. Oh well, I guess not. So girls, about that prom. I don't know about you two but I got the handsomest guy in school to be my date. Zane, yes, he is really cute. I'm so happy for you. Thank ya thank ya. Who are you going with again, Fran? Oh, I, um. She likes Vincent but she's too shy to talk to him. Then we should help her out. Certainly. And who are you going with Missy? Me. Why you wanna know? <laughs> I guess that's code for you don't have a prom date, and why not, as gorgeous as you are. I don't need a man to escort me to prom. I'll be happy dancing by myself. Nothing more empowering than a woman who knows she can go through life alone without a man. Oh. Brother. Sounds like Nazi feminist brainwashing. Now hold on, that's going too far. I'm just calling it how I see it. Get you a man soon because we're not going to prom without you. Uh, speak for yourself. And miss my chance with my boo for her. I don't think so. I had to say something comforting. <laughs> Girls, I'm right here. I can hear and see you. <laughs> you know we love you. We surely do, so for your sake we'll scoop you out a suitable guy. He'll be just as cute as my Zane, well, almost as cute. Gee, thanks. Absolutely hun, what are friends for? Tabitha. That's my mom, gotta go. Fran. My mom too. Diana. Now my mom's calling. See y'all tomorrow. See you besties. Bye besties. I'm gonna miss y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, your Bluetooth hit my ear. Sorry about that. It's okay. I'm happy you're taking me to the prom. Good because I'm happy you accepted. For sure. Come on, let's go to next period class. Yes, ma'am. I can watch him all day. For Pete's sake, just go over there and introduce yourself. Negative. A lady never approaches a man first. The guys are hunters so if he never notices me, 
Then it was never meant to be. Cheer up drama queen I'll help you out. What? No. How? Watch and see. I learned from the best. Besides, how will he ever notice you if you don't put yourself in his view? Wait no, wait, oh boy this is going to be bad, real bad. Does my breath stink? Is my hair a mess? Did I even shower today? What if he thinks I'm ugly? Sorry for interrupting your boy talk. But this is an emergency. My friend over there needs your help. Okay, with what? Is that your bag or hers? This is my bag, I bought it with my own allowance money. Tell her that. <laughs> Can I help you? That's some acting skills you got there. Lying to my friend to get him to talk to your friend. Somebody had to get his attention. And I'd say it worked. Don't you agree? You're a true mastermind, that's for sure. Not all that. Look, I gotta go. Before you leave, can I take you to prom? Who are you again? Clark, nice to meet you miss. Diana, and I'll think about it. What happened to Tabby? Why wasn't she at school today? She's out sick. There's my girl. Check back with you later. Go abandon me to be with your girl then. I knew you'd understand. Vincent. Is this a bad time? Um, for you. I got all the time in the world. You don't mind, do you? Nope. Get him, girl. Now where were we? Would you like to go to prom with me? Vincent, I'd love to. So what about you? Did you consider my offer? No I haven't actually. I've been weighing my options. That's a shame because there's another lady vying for my affection. But I like you better. Is that so? Yes, it is. So what's it gonna be cause I don't have all day. I'll tell you tomorrow. Look, just forget it. I'll take her instead. See you around. Maybe he's my only chance. Something about him isn't right though. But what other choice do I have? Hey wait up. What do you want? Are you here to play games? Then what do you want because I'm busy and I'm taking someone else to prom? Will you please calm down? Wait, did you just call me Will? Another man's name. Now you know I didn't mean it like that. You know I was asking you to calm down. Oh so you're making fun of me. And I am calm. This is my calm face for your information. I'm not making fun of you. Will you just please calm down? I mean, can you please calm down? There you go again calling me another man's name. I oughta slap you. I dare you slap me. You know what never mind. This was a mistake. You're crazy. I'm outta here. Wait. Wait for what? Please don't go. And why shouldn't I? Because I need you. Look I'm sorry for snapping at you but I get a little jealous when a girl I like calls me another man's name. But you know I didn't mean it like that. And you're not even a grown man you're still a teen in high school. Maybe so, but I'm all the man you'll ever need. And who says I need you? Well I need you, do you forgive me? That's a loaded question. Do you? Well I guess I can, since my Christian values teach us to forgive others. Thanks, can I make it up to you by taking you to prom? <laughs> Well, okay. Great. Give me your number and I'll call you. There you go. Awesome. Thanks Diana. I'll call you tonight. Oh, and why does your skirt look so different than the other girls? Because I'm valedictorian so we get special privileges. Nice legs. You'll be hearing from me real soon. Bye. See you later. 
I got a prom date praise the lord. He's such a bad boy like wow. But I can tame him with his fine self. I got a prom date y'all. Me too. Who? Fran, don't tell me you finally made your move on Vincent. Well yes I did. Good for you. How? With Diana's help of course. Always happy to help my bestie out. Cause that's what we do. Yup yup. And who is this mystery guy who asked you to prom? His name is Clark. And he's so handsome. Why does this name sound familiar? Because he's a transfer student who was terminated from his old school for pistol whipping his basketball coach for throwing him off the team for almost beating a fellow player to death. It was in the news. Is this Clark 510, black curly hair with olive skin tone? Sure, but I mean you were right there. You saw him with Vincent. Why didn't you say anything then? Because I didn't recognize him at first since I was so caught up in Vincent prom. Girl you simply can't go with him. But what he did was in the past and I have nobody else to go to prom with me. But what about? Don't even say his name. He tried kissing me instead of asking me to prom. Gross, I don't blame you. So what are you gonna do? No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I'm a Christian so God got me. Yes God has you but don't be foolish. Don't go where danger is, forget prom, it's not the end of the world if you don't go or go alone. At least your besties will be there with you so you won't be totally alone. Look, if this guy can do those things to his own team member and to an adult what could he do to you? Oh my goodness, what? Yes what, you're scaring me. I just remembered Clark had a girlfriend who he tried to kill due to his jealous rage, making it look like an accident and because his parents are cops he got off scotch free. If you don't believe me search it up in the news, in fact. I just searched it for you and I'm sending it to your phone Diana. He's a complete nut job. A spawn of the devil if you ask me. You cannot go with him or be involved with him ever again. Just beg a cuter guy to take you to prom because at this point, who cares? It's just prom. It's not like you're asking him to be your boyfriend. Me. Beg. Is that the best you got? Okay maybe not beg. But at least go with a boy you won't suspect he'll act crazy. Name one guy who's not crazy for women or won't try making his move. Girls girls, I'll be fine, don't worry. This news article was from last year. It says, Clark Biggs was arrested for pistol whipping his high school basketball coach for taking him off the team because Clark allegedly almost beat one of his teammates to death to a bloody pulp. He admitted he did it because the teammate didn't let him take the winning shot. He was always looking at his then high school sweetheart, and because he owed Clark money, $3. That was petty. It continues, both of Clark's parents are police officers who won the case for him, no prison time. Oh Clark, what am I gonna do with you? Sure he's extremely handsome but, but I don't wanna lose my life over a boy just because he looks good. It says he got counseling for a week and that was it. I better pray about this, although my prayer life is not the best. Dear God. That scared me. It's him. Oh, um, oh. Calm down, you got this. Clark, hi, you got your shirt off. Took you long enough to answer. You got another guy over there. Sorry, I was online looking up something. You mean looking up other guys on dating sites? What? No, what is this other guy's thing with you? Are you the jealous type? I was only messing around. You're not that special to be jealous over so come off it. So what's up? You don't think I'm special? You're average, why? Then maybe I should take my average behind to see if another guy will take me to prom. Wait, what did you just say? You heard me Clark. You heard me loud and clear. Diana, I apologize. I didn't mean to upset you. It's just that, I've been cheated on before when I've been nothing but good to her, and I get a little defensive when my lady starts talking about other guys around me. I'm getting counseling, because she burned me bad, so if this is something you can't handle I'll understand. In fact, I'll just go. I hate hurting you Diana, you don't deserve it. Goodbye. Oh, um, so that's why he's acting like this, because another female hurt him. I can understand him a little better now, and I need him to see I'm not like other females. Now to wait for her to call me back. 3, 2, 1. (laughs) 
Thank goodness for dumb women. They always fall for it, it never fails. It's getting old but old as gold. What do you want Diana? Did you call to apologize? Um, yes, <laughs> yes I did. So you finally realize a good man when you see it, and that men can be hurt too. Yes. Then apologize, because you really hurt me with your insensitivity you know. I know, and I'm really sorry. I didn't take into consideration that you've been hurt before and maybe that's why you get jealous. Never make excuses for someone with anger issues, nor apologize for standing your ground against their behavior. Remember, it's them with a the problem, not you. Say you forgive me Clark. Well, on one condition. Anything. If you trust me, can I take you somewhere special tonight? Where? I thought you said you trust me. I said that, when? Do you trust me Diana? Yes Clark, I trust you. Do you love me? I know it's sudden, but I feel a special connection with you. Call me crazy, but I feel like I know you from somewhere. And I'm ashamed to admit it, but I like you a lot. I even love you Diana. Ah, you do. Yes baby I do, do you love me too? Yes baby I love you too. Perfect doll face. Then will you let me take you somewhere special tonight? As much as I want to. I have school in the morning and besides, my parents would find out. Please, for me, if you love me, you can always sneak out of the window. I could. Okay baby, anything for you. Thank you, I love you. <laughs> my bad boy, I love you too. Let me text you my address. No need, I can search it up by your phone number. Is there something you need? Please come back to bed. I'm on my way out the door. In fact put your clothes on and leave my house. One more round before I have to go, please. Fine, go back in there, give me a minute. Thanks. That was great. Get dressed and leave now. I changed my mind. I wanna stay here with you. I hate repeating myself. Okay I'm sorry. I'll be going. Good. See you at school tomorrow. I'll call you later. I don't have time to shower so I'll just leave now. Hopefully she won't smell another woman on me. Hi. Thanks for agreeing to see me. You're welcome. Wow. You can drive a police car. And where are we going? It's a surprise, and this is my parents' car. They don't care. A campfire. This is nice and I'm surprised. Clark I'm not ready for this yet. I'm still a virgin and I'm not married. Okay, no problem. Really? No Diana, not really. I thought you loved me. I thought you'd do anything for me. Clark honey, I do love you and I would do just about anything for you. But... Oh I get it, I'm not good enough for you. Yes you are good enough for me. And yes I do love you. Then baby if you love me... Prove it. Let me make love to you and I promise I'll marry you. You wanna make love out here? You never made love outdoors before. You gotta live a little. Oh right, you're a virgin. Clark, this is moving too fast for me. Do you even have condoms? Gold pack right here, and I love your pretty flowers you wear in your hair. They make your beauty stand out more. I'll be real gentle to you. You'll like it, don't worry. I don't know. Hey look at me. It's us, against the world now. We love each other right? So I need to show you how much I love you, okay? But you didn't even feed me yet or ask me if I'm hungry. How you know I'm not hungry and you had me walking on the outside of the sidewalk but a man is supposed to protect his woman and have her walking on the inside. Baby you worry too much. I will feed you afterwards and I'll drive you from now on, no more walking. For now, let me love you, okay? Allow me to feel my love for you. You promise to be gentle. Of course my love. Kiss me back. See, was that so hard? I'm ready, I think. Don't worry baby, you're in my possession now and I'm never letting you go. Now take your clothes off and undress me.
Look at that guy with no legs crawling across the street. I hope he don't get ran over. Ouch Clark. Why did you elbow me? What do you mean why? Don't talk about other guys around me. You know I get jealous. Okay I'm sorry. No baby I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Just don't talk about other men around me okay? I'm sorry. It just looks like he needed help. He'll live. Well you better get going. And tomorrow, I'm taking you shopping for better clothes. What's wrong with what I'm wearing? Everything. Look don't talk back. You're mine's now. I made a woman out of you tonight so I know what's best for you. My love just trust me okay? Alright. Good girl. And here's some money to buy you something to eat tomorrow. Now give me some sugar. Thank god my parents are still asleep. Oh my goodness, can't believe I did it with Clark tonight. I think I like it. I know I shouldn't have been with a man until marriage but he's different, adventurous, daring, exciting. But he also has a temper. As long as I do what he says and don't speak of other guys around him then all good. Oh Clark, my bad boy. I'll tame you soon my love. Guess I'll shower and go to bed. After prom. You look absolutely beautiful tonight. I feel naked. I had to sneak to wear these clothes. Clark I wanted to wear a pretty long dress. Baby don't ruin the mood. You look fine. Look at me, I'm practically naked. That's why I picked it out for you. Now don't make me mad. I'll take you home. Alright. I need to call my besties to make sure they made it home safe too. You're only allowed to talk to them once a month, okay? Alright. See you later my love. I'll call you. Actually tonight is chore night. Can I call you tomorrow morning? I don't care about your stupid chores. I'm calling you tonight and that's final. Out of my car. <laughs> How did I get myself into this? Oh god help me. So she called her friends and told them everything. How he abused and controlled her. And how he tried keeping her away from talking to them and they threatened to call the cops on him. But his parents was cops also so they would lie and cover for him. Again. They needed hardcore evidence. And they advised her to break up with him as they'd record his actions against her to put him away at least for some time. They brought one of their dad's friend along for more proof. Next day after graduation. Why did you call me out here Diana? It's 7.15 in the morning, are you crazy? And why aren't you wearing what I bought for you? Are you trying to be disobedient to me? Ouch Clark, stop hitting me, please. Oh Clark stop my foot. You're supposed to obey me. I believe your Bible says the wife is supposed to obey her husband so why aren't you obeying me? Submit, not obey, but we're not married. Yes we are. We became one when you slept with me so you're my woman. You belong to me. Clark no, I can't do this with you anymore. We've only been together for a week and you treat me like trash. You're abusive controlling and too jealous for my liking. You hurt me mentally not just physically and I'm tired of covering the scars of abuse you place on my body. I'm sorry but it's over. I tried to love you but you make it hard to love you so, goodbye. You're not going anywhere. You're mine Diana, mine. She's not yours tough guy, she's God's. And who is he Diana? He's a friend. Oh Diana, I'm afraid you can't leave me alive. Drop the gun. Hands up, you're under arrest. Clark was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole and his parents were stripped of their badges and sentenced to 90 years each to prison due to evidence found that they were covering up for their son, especially since he's taken two other lives before that they covered for. The man at the end was an army vet, one of the friend's dad's friend, but he wasn't armed because he didn't know Clark had a gun. Unfortunately Diana didn't make it. 
She died on her way to the hospital because of the severity of the gunshots, but her soul was safe with the Lord now. Her friends and parents prayed for Clark and his folks, and as hard as it was, they all forgave them. About 4,000 women die each year due to domestic violence. Of the total domestic violence homicides, about 75% of the victims were killed as they attempted to leave the relationship or after the relationship had ended. Bad boys will most likely serve a bad ending. Please don't live in sin for those living in sin, because it brings about other sins like abuse, and sin brings about death. Death to the flesh and soul of non-believers but death to only the flesh of believers. This is not to victim blame, but when we choose to disobey God and live in sin, evil follows. What else have you learned from this story? For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause when you are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. 1 Corinthians 11 29-30 KJV Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Psalm 1, 1 KJV He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Proverbs 13 20 KJV Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go, lest thou learn his ways, and get a snare to thy soul. Proverbs 22 24 to 25 KJV For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6 23 KJV God bless you all in Jesus Christ's mighty name.